School bus safety concerns are on the rise after a six-year-old was hit by a vehicle exiting her school bus. KAJ's Marin Sue spoke with some parents who tell her how this incident has raised other concerns. The Flathead County community is still in shock after a six-year-old girl was struck by a vehicle while attempting to exit her bus and cross this busy highway. Only Bissell mom Whitney Trainer's daughter just got off the bus when she heard a commotion down the street. A bunch of sirens and police cars and ambulance and stuff, but I didn't really think anything of it. I just thought, okay, there was a bad accident, um, but Riley was home, so I didn't think it was the bus. Um, and then. The next day I found out that it was a little girl that was in her class and that was on that bus that got hit. Trainer is talking about six year old Jordana. According to Trooper John Raymond with Montana Highway Patrol, last Tuesday Jordana attempted crossing Highway 93 when a driver failed to stop for her school bus. Trooper Raymond says as MHP learns more, it appears the driver was going around 40 miles an hour when they struck Jordana. This accident deeply affected Trainer. It hit home for the fact that that could have been my child. This accident changed her pickup and drop off protocol with her daughter. At first I wasn't standing down there with her. You know, I would just stand on the porch and watch her get on the on the bus, but now it's like I want to stand down there with you and wait for you to get on that bus. And bus safety concerns extend across Flathead County. When Kalispell mom Kimberly Schecksneider heard about Jordana's accident and made her even more concerned for her son's bus safety. I go pretty much on the bus and grab his hand. He's a runner. Um, he doesn't have a concept of danger. A lot of little kids don't. They don't think that they're going to get hurt. So it's up to the drivers. You have to obey the law. Montana law states vehicles on both sides of an undivided highway must stop when a school bus stops. As of Monday, Jordana's family says she remains in critical condition in the hospital. Montana Highway Patrol continues to investigate this incident. In only Marin Sioux, MTN News. Montana Highway Patrol Trooper Raymond says charges are pending for the driver as they wait for toxicology results to come back from the Montana State Crime Lab.